Electricity is a big part of our life. We use it in our homes, we use it on our phones, but today we're going to use an alternative source such as a lemon. Before any lab experiment, it is crucial to have your safety equipment. So we have your gloves, we have your coat, and mainly you have your glasses. Start the experiment, we are going to need one lemon, six insulated threaded wire copper wires, and six zinc nails with a, a wire cutter. We are going to cut the insulation off both sides of the copper wire. And we are going to connect one side to a zinc nail. And so the zinc nail is going to be our negative side and the copper wire is going to be our positive side. We repeated that process six times. So we got a zinc nail connected to six copper wires. And so we're going to grab our lemon. The nail side, we're going to puncture into the lemon. And we're going to get another lemon. And we're going to puncture six different holes. Now, the copper wire is going to go straight into the other limit. There you go. We will once repeat this process for two other lemons, connecting the zinc into the other lemon. So we have already punctured all the lemons. And we just connect them. Like that. Make sure all the nails are nice and tugged with your copper wire. And now all that's left is the positive and negative charges coming out the side. We made a series of four lemons, each with a parallel of six copper wires going and, and zinc nails going into the lemon. Now we have came to the end of the lemon battery where we are going to connect six copper wires to one wire to make our positive and to our make our other uh, negative. We are going to have to connect the copper wire to an alligator clip and the other side to another zinc nail. Like that. Now we are going to continue this step another five times, and our sixth one is going to be a bit longer and with the insulation ripped off towards the middle, as you can see right here. We did this by using this tool to rip off the sides. We used a knife to cut through the middle so we could rip the insulation off. <clears throat> so the end of this is going to have a nail because it is our negative side. I'm going to insert this into the lemon 
and we're going to have the rest of them go next to it. Now, all of these are going to connect to that one wire to produce all a negative charge. And that is our negative charge. Now for the positive side, we are going to do the same thing, but instead of putting in the zinc nail into the lemon, we are going to be putting the copper into the lemon. And this would be our positive side. And we're going to connect like the other side, all of them to this one. And this should form a positive charge. Now we are going to check if our lemon battery actually produces a charge. So we're going to use this voltmeter and we're going to connect the red side to the positive end and the black side to the negative end. So as you can see, we're going to twist this to DC 50 volts or 10 volts, I'm sorry. And it should read that we have about 3 volts coming out of our lemon. Alright, so this is the final step of our lemon battery. So we have everything properly formatted in a series and parallel. So our last step is to actually hook up our power source to the light. So you grab the, the negative end and put it to the short, the short side of the LED, as your negative. And our long side is going to be our positive. And when we connect, we should get a light. If you look up closely, you should see that the light is on. All right, so since it was too bright outside, we decided to bring it in to get a better look at the light. So our negative end is going to go on to our short side. And once that's there, our positive is going to go on our long side. And that should light it up. Your guys' experiment would be a little different from our model experiment we just made. So you guys would just be making a lemon battery with one lemon and you will be provided with half cut lemons and all you would be having to do is test for voltage to see if you have an electrical current running through your lemon. With your pre-cut lemons, you're going to run a series of two half lemons and two parallel to give you a positive and negative current. So Beginning, you will connect your two lemons by connecting a zinc to one of the lemons with your two wires. And then you're going to connect the other side with the copper. So you puncture your holes into the lemon and connect the copper
Once you have the connected copper, your negative side is going to have two zinc nails giving out a copper side and your positive side is going to have <clears throat> copper going into the lemon and having copper come out of the lemon. So two more punctures on this side. So we are going to wrap both the ends to produce one. Like that. Same for the other side. This side's a little messed up. There we go. So now we're going to use our voltmeter and check our charge. See if we have a current going through it. So this is going to be your negative side because of the zinc nails. So you're going to put your black one to this one. And then your positive is going to go to the copper sides. And as you see, we should have a current running through the lemon giving you a battery.